Well, everybody, it's Thursday afternoon. I'm here at Coco Palms. We got word that the cops are here right now. So, let's go have a see what the cops have to say. Officer tells. Officer Candido, Officer Snyder again, Officer Tamagawa. Officer Nebet. Nesbit. Nesbit. See Nesbit. So who's pressing the charges? I'm not State of Hawaii or Coco Palms? The, the county of Kwa. So you hear this everybody? The cops are giving us a trespass warning. So the question is, how can native tenants or Kanaka Maoli be trespassing when all land in Hawaii is subject to the rights of native tenants? So we're being issued a trespass warning right now. Here in Wailua Nui Ahuano, Coco Palms. This is our Kanaka Aina. The police have no jurisdiction in this Aina. Make things right. Look at this. Kapule. No private property, no trespassing. I just told you I stay on parcel 6020, so show me 6020. I'm telling you right now, come on. What the county of Hawaii like, recognizes this? No, yes. no, no. No. Okay, so no. I stay on parcel 6020. Not on what you said. I don't recognize that place. I'm sorry, no disrespect to you as a person, but. The state don't belong with this trip. I don't know why you guys issuing warnings. I don't know. This is a Hawaiian land, guy. We're not, not doing nothing just, wrong I'm over not here. here to that. And as on civil matter you, already. Stay in court already. You advise that you're being subject to arrest for criminal trespassing you in the second bring degree. One big These people coming out in July, just so you officers know. I don't know if you guys know if you guys know, but all you officers are held accountable to this. This book right here, okay. and this is just so you guys know um what you guys already get the ones that you guys are held upon. But just so you guys know, this this agency is coming down with a deputy prosecuting attorney. It's coming down in Hawaii, and this is the book that I go by. You guys get your guys book, I go by it. But just so you officers know, International Criminal Courts is coming down, and this right here. Falls under one of the elements of crime. Right. Just so you guys know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. He may be held liable for war crimes for violating the terms and conditions of the Fourth Geneva Conventions. Hey, aloha. Good evening. Aloha, ahi, ahi. It's Kaiulani, and I'm here in Wailua. They were served eviction papers in spite of the assurances by the mayor and the county attorney that this wasn't going to happen, that this was a civil matter. Here comes the helicopter that has been flying back and forth the entire time today. Do you hear it? Yeah. So, the Ohana here, here he is. They've been served papers. Helicopter's been flying back and forth here today. Here comes Kamu. So Kamu, tell us what's going on. Wait, um, swallow your food first. <laughs> I, know to begin. I know. It's very overwhelming because we are facing a big deal tomorrow. Basically took uh, today as we were working on our lo'i and our tar patches and connecting with our kupuna. Today, over 50 times, the red helicopter, the yellow helicopter has been flying through this road really low. Um, there's legal flight zones, and they're way past their legal marks. They're so low. Back and forth, the same area, harassment. Fully harassment. Now, these guys understand English. 
this is in their writing and they still can't read. This is in English writing and they still can't read. Commission Award. Kalamai. It's 3111-3559. Land of Kauai, District of Puna. Ahupua Awailua. Of Kiha P.E. Kalani. Lo'i of Kaho'o Ealii. Loko of Kalua Pulu. Auvai of Kavai Ki Pali of <coughs> Papa Alai and Puuki. The rights of native tenant stack one seven two dash one one dash land captain on land commission awards to whom for those this is all of our documents and our paper and our god gifted right from our kupuna of Mo'i Queen Victoria Kamamalu Wailua Ahupua'a Maka Ainana they lived here and flourished these lands for our people and our kupunas Queen Deborah Kapule as, as Konohiki This is all my tutu, my genealogy. From their hanau, their birth, I came from them. And they say they're gonna evict me out of my own home. These are the remnants of the Royal Coconut Grove. What's left? In there, behind those weeds, many, many, many bones, but spectacularly, the bones of 87 giants planted along the property line who were disinterred by Uncle Valico back in the day and reburied standing up and promised to never be moved. They're going to dig those bones up. These were giants, eight foot tall, nine foot tall men. This is Holoholoku in front of me, where Kamu Ali'i was born and our Ali'i are born. And in the distance you see, no, no, our waterways don't flow anymore. They have them so backed up and stopped up and diverted. And then on this side, this goes out to the Wailua River, the Awai, but very still as you can see, not moving. And over here, Kamuali'i Park, where I was arrested in 2011, where they dug up the bones of our kupuna to put in a septic system. And over here, our coconut grove. Our silent witnesses. Yeah. Well, this is a good place to be because we were a lama stay. We were a kahuna was living there. Well, I mean, one time the lama, we had the lama. We can do anything. How big the lot you want to eat? Tough. Yeah, no, no. The four lima and that, that's enough. So that's much color. Come down over here. Come but they're few, Rati. That's the, that's the trap pass. They come with the kuleana. How big the lot is. What a 
equally on our lands, run all up this valley, all the way to the falls. All tar patches. I look at the camp, you can see the fire at the Kim's fire. That's how far away the car is staying, way over there. The Russians used to eat by boatloads of Jai Kalo. The time of Komoli. They would come and they buy dry boatloads of Jai Tao. Went to feed the Russian people. You know? I mean, so this is it, you know? I mean, you, can, you look at the. This is affordable living. Only, you know, housing is one thing, but affordable living, maybe, you know, it's a lifestyle, I mean. And it's right here. So. Time for the families to come home, you know. Help them too, like if folks work, everybody, you know, what you folks doing. Families help each other. We know what, you, families know what to do. You're not, you're not gonna write no manual. All we need is the land, and, and we'll figure it out from there. You know what I mean? Yeah. The yeah. rest is, we can figure them out. We don't need a permit. If you like, help us. Like he said, show us what you got. Show us what you got. Like he said, no matter your blue eyes, blonde hair, if you like wear a on the low end, automatic. <laughs> yeah. We don't discriminate. Right. Inside of this valley is a main irrigation system that right now has, you know, for Kamuli, that's going to be part of the thing to bring that water system back. And once we bring that water system back, that's that's a crucial, the crucial step now is to get the the water system hooked up. Then the lands can become a. We can start to. Utilize them for gardening, places for living, people, you know, bring the, the land into production. This land, I mean, it's like the land is fallow, the people, and these people, this is the future. See all that green down there? Mm -hmm. Right down there by that blue tent type thing, mm -hmm. right to the right of it? Those little those little leaves over there are as big as my body, Kalo. See him waving in the breeze? That's all Kalo down there. That's Taro. Imagine what this would look like. I grew up in Waikiki. Hotel is hotel. A lifestyle. A job in a hotel is okay. What is the rest of the family going to do? You know? That's the thing. This is where the families belong. When I go to college, go, because you get them. I go stay in Aloe. I stay with Grandma. I go stay with Grandpa. I go with Uncle Dem. We're going to carry on the fishing. We're going to work the Kalo. Oh, I get my cousins over here. Yeah, we we'll break the Pua, everything. That's, that's how we survived. Right now, the reason that this, this, this oppression can occur is because there's no food for the people. So what is your mana'o, given all this, given all this land that goes, goes back in, um, in your ohana for, for a long time, what's your vision of what the Pono way would be for this place? For me it would be, main thing would work the land and, and it, as best as can, try to get the right families back on the Kuleana land. Cause all this land is, is, is like divided amongst like 30 different like rural patterns. So ultimately it would be good for to see if we can find people of the bloodline who, who, who's willing to go and live this kind of lifestyle and, and clean the land. But the main goal is to get this whole thing back into production. Get, get the water flowing and get the people back on the land so we can work the tar patches. That's the main goal. The street. Yeah, get, get people off the streets. Running right? out of road. <laughs> get people on the aina. 
this is all this is all marshlands and if if you do like if you notice if you look at one geographical map the Kuliana lands always run in the marsh lands and the lowlands because you can because you gotta live where you can plant your food and get water like back like you look across there you see where all the houses stay on the cliff back in the day we never have people living up there on the cliff you gotta live down by the Hawaii so right now it's kind of backwards everything they put the cattle in Aloi and they put the people up there to me that's where the cattle are supposed to be on the cliff where the, where the Duru and Shishi not gonna get in the not we're not gonna you get in the water. water. So everything is backwards they run in on pretty much. Plus didn't all that get wiped out in the hurricane? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they just built it back in the same place. Yeah. Use 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 two by eights instead of two by fours and two by sixes. This heavier construction. And all mixed, you know, there may even be families that have, you know. Connection to, to in the valley. I know get a, one family living in house lots, Kawakahis, and get Kawakahi real patterns in this valley. So mm -hmm. that's the one family I know of that's still in the valley, but they're not on the Kuliana, they still live in, in the housing area. But to look how much food could be grown if, in this in this valley to look Imagine how much how much Cultivation to be done in this one little valley, Aupua. There's so much food. But no, the bugger say all of this over some cattle here and there. Because to me, this, damn, they do my so, so they dry them up over 20, 30 years, dry up the Lo'i lands. And eventually they're gonna be able to do some development on them, yeah. After you put the pee 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 on so long, stump the ground cute. They're slowly making the land ready for build. Field to come in yeah. so you can fill and put houses in the low east, which is part of the big problem. Yeah, that's, that's, that's part of the process. That's what's happening in Wainia. Yeah. You know, Wainia is the, the place where Kaimirim's there. It's a town patch. It's not a place to. The house, the pahale for that one is in the middle of the river. Sorry, the river went turn direction, but if you want to build a house, mm -hmm. it's down there. So, you yeah. know, that's that's the thing, because there's definite spots where the houses were put strategically already located so that they wouldn't interfere. It would be at the high ground of, of the flood time, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, everything is laid out. Every, everything is pretty much... Yeah. Being an indigenous person, you need to be live, live in your culture. Apology resolution say indigenous. What indigenous? Where? What culture? What village? Other than commercial. Commercial culture. The suppression, you know, the enforcement of all these, all these things, suppression of the culture. You know, like now, but now, culture is here. This is called job security. Food security. You know, food security, lifestyle oh. security. Otherwise, hotel here today. I depend on one dollar when you can grow your own. Hotel here today, gone tomorrow too, but a big win. So this whole valley, I think, is supposed to be the high, the high, the state. I make a deal for the high on this whole valley. The high can claim in the own this whole the whole valley? From here, yeah. The Hyatt? The Hyatt. Huh? This whole valley is supposed to have a deal with <coughs> the state and the Hyatt, bro. Because that's one of the guys who came, eh? To see you when Tyler came. It's the guy from the Hyatt. The Hyatt is like the main, the main investor. Like the three things that make an Aupua. Heao, Fishpon, Lo'i. That's a kingdom pretty much, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, see like now, the thing stay down. Thing trying to pull the seas. You know that, yeah? Yeah. See, if, even if no need cut them down, 
main thing you pull the sea and this moon. Now she like jaw. You can just go through this whole face. Just pull them right out. You reach out them. Three moons you do this. You keep them down and then it starts to naturally stunt you. Yeah. Stunt itself, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This you put them in a bag. You take them, you know, because it's keeping the ground cool. It's a foreign thing, but, you know, until you can get to it. Until you can use the ground. Yeah. Okay. Until it, it yeah, good. yeah. You know, why don't get outside, you know? I see other things just like, you just come, pop, come right on your It's like, what do you call that? Instead of weed whacking and spreading the seeds all over, you mean? Aye. <laughs> or poisoning. Or poisoning. I finally learned about the holy poor, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I learned the same thing. You can see him when he's ready for seed. You gotta cut that branch and break the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. Strong word of the holy poor and guinea grass. Oh, yeah. Protect us. You seem like they're rubbish and it's all these people so right now and just a protector. I had a time had a had a had a, had a tsunami warning. We all come up here. Yeah. I already know this is like for safe ground for like natural disaster. Mm -hmm. Tsunami, big flood that come up here. Mm -hmm. Guarantee safe. Hails is always safe. I hear stories of lava went right around hails. Yeah. Even a tidal waves too, I heard. Yeah. Somehow you stay in the hail, you safe. Stay in a certain air, yes. certain place they know where. Get the pulley on the hail, yeah. is all he put there. out by the root and you know the once you grab the seed on your way <laughs> Well, that's the biggest grove of, of coconuts I've seen all in one place. This is blowing where you can actually go inside and not be, have one fence or, you know, one hotel, a security guard, and, and full of coconuts. Full of coconuts. Instead of just trim for the turf, you know, or trim for what happened, you know? Keep from falling on people's hands. Can research? River mountains they close. But once he opened, he drain out. He drain out there when the river open. That's where the boats they food rubbish. I could pull them off on the other side. Oh, I plug. Yeah, all over. We gotta go open the other one that they backfield. They close up. All the goodies so going down. The road go across. All the year I'm gonna come. The whole goodies going down. You already get them. That's what he said, eh? The whole the whole stuff. Everything. The wawa and all coming in. We get some cross breeds too. Carp, everything. We see no gold fish before. I like open the other eye because the water comes straight from Opaika Falls.
get a nine inside ya. Still ya, monsters. Big boys. I got scared when I saw him. I was on my kayak. One one man. Ungapag was almost as big as the kayak. I had to look twice. Because uh, I mean, I grew up right across the street. Uh -huh. you know, and then when I went in the service and came back. That's why I told, come on, I haven't been here 40 years. My birthday was Sunday when we had the meeting. So I told him, now I still won again. I just reborn again, all over. Dark, all over. I climb in the same trees that I did when I was young. Feel good. Yeah. Feel real good. Okay, no, you take care of that food now. Over here we have three docks that is endangered. Um, one of them is the, the Alai Ula, which has the Hawaiian legend o over here. This is where Maui discovered how to make fire. Um, if you guys read the legends, this is where Maui had catched the Alai Ula dock and forced him how to make fire with the sticks, show him the, the stuff with fire. But the Alai, the Alai Ula is over here. They they have a relationship with you, huh? Yeah, like um, when I first came here, they would, they would always come come up to me, and um, I would feed them and stuff. And until the other ducks started coming and making trouble to them and beating them up. So what kind of other ducks get? Um, I just call them the the holy duck. It's the one you eat. The white one. Yeah, the the, the big one. So get those ducks over here too. But the other two Hawaiian ducks, I think, is the Koloa and the other one, and I, I forget the name. But I know this tree. Right, the native ducks we just yeah, saw. Yeah, there's there's tree over here that's all endangered. And plenty alai and um, those kind of water birds, yeah? Yeah, the, the um, alai ula, the Koloa, and one more, I forget the other one. So if the hotel were to do the development that they were talking about, um, seems like this area there wouldn't really be a way of not impacting this area yeah we have one high one high impact on on, on the on the ecosystem and the species over here like the, the docks even the opal we cut some what we caught we cut the cut the, the, the akupa we, we caught that over here like three of them big ones like that but they're making a hotel here, they will, they will destroy all of this. And this is like one fish pond, terra patch, one, one place where, where those ducks live, yeah, all the Hawaiian endangered species. So the original path noir that you was explaining, should I talk about that, how this used to drain out? This is actually a, a, a block. Yeah, so um, this, this system, so by the way, what makes this, this low E fish pond special is, is come from Ampunavai one spring. Um, so I was told by the Kupunas and by the old maps I've seen that this system used to flow out of Horner's parking lot. Mm -hmm. But right now it doesn't flow over there anymore because they made the highway. So now it backs up into like, into Cocoa Palms and stuff. So, so they already mm. like had disturbed the flow of the water big time over here. With the previous hotel development. Yeah, with the previous hotel development and just by making the highway. So pretty much we, we want to stop them from doing doing any more of that, of like disturbing this place because everybody knows this is, this is where the royalty was from and all the fish ponds and stuff was over here. So I just trying to, trying to, trying to keep them safe from 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 the development. Stuff what about that. the lineage you're talking about now? The lineage, the lineage, like the families here. So the lineage. If, if you feel like something, you know that you, you can. So you know, um, so the lineage of this Aupua is um, the start of the ruling chiefs for this island comes from this comes from this Moi this, this Aupua um, Moikeha, the king of. King of Tahiti, his son, the Prince Moikea, came here and became the first Moi for this island. And from there, it runs straight to straight to Mano, Kalanipo, Cavelo, um, Kamakahele, Kamoli. So 
So this place you get like one, you get like one connection even with, even with Tahiti, yeah? because of the first guy coming here was a was a prince of Tahiti. So this place, you know, get like one connection to over there. Direct line. Yeah, yeah like on direct line to Tahiti, and then the other genealogy line for these places. Everybody out of that line is also in the Pi'ilani line of Maui. Mm. Just so people know, the name of this Ili that we're in is Kia Pi'ilani, who was, who was, running, who was one of the, the, the Mo'i chiefs of Maui. He was a king of Maui, so this Ili is named after him. So over here we have, we have a connection to Maui, Pi, the Pi'ilani line, and to Tahiti, to, to Mo'ikeha's father, the, the king. So over here is a real special place because of the genealogy stuff and because of this land, the fish ponds and the terra patches and the springs. There's a lot of mo'olelo in this area, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of mo'olelo in this area. So this potentially could be just uh, turned into filled in the potential for this to be filled in yeah yeah for the parking lot if there's going to be another hotel which i think is really a big question mm -hmm. you know because uh she'll have a lot of hotels already and, you know and the poor lima tra translate the, the land of the poor lima yeah, so, yeah. So, so, so the land of the poor lima like i said was used for the Konohiki and the chiefs of the Aupua for, for race stuff. He's a guy, yeah. Like I said, like the fishermen who would come over here, they will give their... Watch, watch. You can run. Watch, you can run. Oh, yeah. You can go there. Just come watch. You can come across. I'm across the street now. You can walk on the water. Oh, yeah. You can dig out with the daughters, as they call it. I'm scared them. I wish I could zoom. They stay with no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the Puolima would be used for like if the Aupoa wants to throw a big luau, then like we wouldn't have to grab food from our personal family lands. We could come to, to the Puolima and we could throw a big luau if we have guests coming from New Zealand or Tahiti. That's what kinda like the kinda like the Puolimas were for. Kind of ironic, yeah, that they want to build a hotel to exclude the Kanakas yeah. when in the very place where the Kanakas would share, yeah. in a in in a real way, yeah, where they hmm. would live, yeah, and not just not be a place a resident coming in, punching in on a time clock. Then you then then here, this is so much you're gonna have to pay, and good luck, gang. The good luck now is like you gotta be kidding. You gotta work 24 hours a day. So the, the, the thing is now to be the awareness that there is an option. Mm -hmm. The people are not aware. You know, it, you know it's been suppressed uh, the, for so long that it's just getting ready to run across the river. <laughs> Pretty much we just like bring, bring some, some, some awareness to like situations like this where you get culturally and, and, and and religiously like significant places like this that is up for grabs by big hotels and they have the kind of plans they get for these kind of lands is is not good for us or the land so it's just good for people to know what's going on out there. All kind all kind of lands like this, like all through the islands, this is not the only place. Every Aupua Gion Gion Lima. And I think every Aupua's Lima should be cared for and looked after by the families and stuff. So this is just one of them. Every Aupua Gyampua Lima for take care of. Oh, beautiful. Just so guys know what kind of stuff going on while everybody at work, you know what I mean? Living their lives, just that kind of stuff. Get going on in the back of closed doors. Stuff for grab land. That film and turn them into a parking lot. We have the papers showing that this is low E fish pond lands surveyed and everything back in 1840s, 1850s. So 
But the reason we're here is to keep it like this, to keep it on fish pond, keep it on low E. That's our main goal of being here. So that means that these guys out here, this this all this native um, water birds and stuff like that, they their kupunas yeah. was here back in those days. Yeah, yeah, same thing. When the what the Kanakas were feeding the people from here, yeah, yeah. These, those same guys was here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's just like even in the Wailua out the Kamolo Road. Once they know they're safe, they just they make their nest. Mm -hmm. When time for how you know hukikalo, we just go around them. I mean, they actually, you know, after you go in, you clean, right? There they gonna come. Mm -hmm. They gonna come over there, and that's the compatibility. And I mean, you know, that is, that is our, our interaction. We have a, we have a job with them. We do the dance with them. The relationship. Yeah, it's not like they are, they are they're in a different world. Mm -hmm. We live in the same which are compatible to live in the same world. So that's things, because you know, sometimes they say, oh, you know, the humans are going to this and that, or, or you know, we're going to disrupt this and that. From my experience, kawa everywhere. You open up the land, you turn around, you're going to see it. You're going to see all the butterflies, the bees, the, the everything. You're going to see the, the, the you know, kolea. to the malama. Well, they, that's, they're all into it because that's their food. When the when the grass is all grown over, they're out. No more food. You leave here. You know the bridge. When you gone, they know you gone. Mm -hmm. Because you, you you've you've come here now. You've been over here one year. You know? From the time even the Pua know you. Everything knows you. The plants know you. Awesome. Oh, mahalo, Noah. Yeah. Aloha, Aina. It's Lama here. I'm at the beautiful island of Kauai, here to support the people of Wailua. Um, today is May 12th. The eviction notice has gone out to the community over here that's taking care of this uh, beautiful land. And uh, it's another story that we're very familiar with. It's Kanaka being evicted from taking care of the Aina itself, uh, from taking care of each other as Ohana. And I wanted to share a little bit about the Miyakanu, the Kaihu here, um, who, who stays here, who's taking care of this land. Um, and share about what you've been doing. Aloha, o ka ehu o vau ko inoa, uh, noho malihu e. This is all my mea kanu that um, I planted, learned how to plant. And my babies right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's take a look here. So we have Kalo. Hi. So tell us about what you've been doing as far as like how, what's your technique over here? Um, actually, I've just been kind of winging it. People have been bringing me Kalo and I've never planted anything before, uh -huh. so this is all new to me. And so, from what I know and what I see people do, I just kind of moved all the. We had a lot of guinea grass, a lot of halekoa, and we pulled it all out, filled the land, and then just planted the garden. And we have so much cocos over here that I ended up using them for borders. Yeah. Just to, to make use of what we have here on the Aina. It's beautiful, I like it. Yeah. And then they have, um, they have a lot of potassium. And that's what yeah. Kala needs to grow and has, Kala has lots of potassium. The ground here really doesn't flood when it really pours rain, so mm -hmm. the Aina just kind of soaks up all the vaya. Oh, beautiful. And so, and it's rooted with all the cocos that we have here. There's so much roots in the ground. And our Kala has been growing It's beautiful. Really well it looks yeah. really nice. You want to show me a little bit around to what sure. you're... Okay, let's hold on. I call it Pake Mai'a, Chinese bananas. This is a cooking banana, so they use this to make masa, to make patele dioja, pateles. Oh, yummy. I can't wait to the harvest. This is my staging area. This is where people come and they bring me... Makana? Makana. Yeah? To um, plant here on the Aina. And we have several different ones. What's this right here, you This got? here is sweet potato, the purple one, and kalo. And then I have tangelo, the small pot, Hawaiian chili pepper. Cucumbers that I planted from seeds, and we have some lettuce and stuff that's growing in there also. Right, there's a lettuce? There. 
Oh, right there. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah. Oh, nice. So you have little starters, yeah. yeah. Oh, right on. Uh, oh, rosemary. Really pretty. Some That's olena. So olena is used as medicinally, and it's also yeah. as turmeric. Yeah. And then what's this over here? Green yeah, onions, onion. papayas. Oh yeah, the papaya seeds yeah. right there. The pineapple. So you got the yeah. Yeah, just going for um, it. The rest, I'm not really too sure. Some bought, some people bought it, but I didn't know who bought it or what they were. So we're gonna see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it looks we're like We're gonna see. Pellets. I like surprises. And yeah, maybe some tomato. <laughs> the lower is not doing so hot right now. Oh. But this is papaya, the larger yeah, papaya. This is the larger papaya. Yeah, so that right there is this right over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bigger. Yeah. So small. And of course, I have bigger. more color I need to plan. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on over yeah. here. So this is for Kenny Kenny right here. Yes. Um, one of my friends brought it over, and it, we're hoping for it to bloom soon. Could you share a little bit about what this means to you to rediscover how to canoe again? Um, it's actually been exciting for me. This is um, for my Ohana and all the Kanakas out there. It's here. So if they take us then we come right back because this is valuable to me more than our materialistic stuff. This is for my keikis, my mo'opunas and their kids. What do you think? Why do you think that you didn't know how to plant before? Um, because I was waiting for now. Yeah. And it's hard to plant oh, without the water and without is, the without the land. You bring water in to, yeah. to help grow, or we take it from the river, which is right here in abundance for us. It's a beautiful thing. Thank it you is. so it much is. for standing for this land, and we love you. Thank you. <laughs> advised that Mayor Carvalho is coming down the hill and his position is that this is a civil matter so I'm just waiting to see his vehicle and because it's such a mess our traffic problems are so bad on this island Mayor Carvalho will definitely have to be stopped right in front of us right Auntie Nani yeah. say aloha to everyone aloha, Auntie Nani. everybody <laughs> We were just here talking. Here we are again. Here we are again. Yes. And um, did my pule. Yes, good. Called, our, called my kupuna. Called my omakua. Got a pule kako. Call their names. Yes. And they will come. Yes, so. Because they love <sighs> us. Well, here we are in Wailua. I don't know today. We cannot keep calling it Coco Palms even. We can't it's call not. It Wailua Nui Ahuana. Yeah. That's what we're defending. We're not defending Coco Palms. We're no. defending the Aina of Coco Palms. Yes. <laughs> and now our men are going to be building the Ahu. Oh, from 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 one meal. Yeah. You got to tell them. I'm just the videographer. <laughs> What happened to my line over here? This one. Who's stepping in the line? What's up, what's up? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Call it, call it. Call, call, call. Put down, put down, put down. That one needs to stand up. Put down, put down. What, the <laughs> Keep in mind, Hikinakala, all the different sites. That was very special this morning. That came about, yeah? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, guys, we navigate us So, very, very special thing happened this morning. Um, well, guys, they had, oh, they had the maps, and I see, I was looking at Uncle. All the secret sites, yeah? So, we'll line them up. I know I just wanted to say, I know we all know, but I was like bring two vines because these are places that I use all the time for due to protection. Of course, yeah. Enoch, come on. Enoch, come on. Enoch, come on. Enoch, come on. Enoch, 
Hinoa iti a tapu iti a ahu. Hinoa. Whaikalima. <laughs>